Hello and welcome to Flowable. In this video we are going to look at the Flowable Cloud Enterprise trial as well as the trial which you can download. Therefore we need to go to flowable.com. On flowable.com you have that try now button which redirects you to a form where you can sign up for the enterprise trial. Here you just need to fill in some basic information like your name, your email address, the country, and the company you are working for. And once you have done that, uh, you just need to um, check that you agree to the terms and condition and the privacy note. Once you press start exploring here, it is going to send you an email. In that email, you need to confirm that you uh, basically uh, that this is your email address. And uh, therefore you just need to press that validate email link. That validate email link redirects you uh, then uh, to a page where you can set up your password. And your email address together with that password which you have chosen here is then how you can sign in to your uh, Flowable Cloud account. So directly after setting up the password, you can sign in here. So it's redirecting you automatically to the login page. Now I press start now, which redirects us to the landing page of Global Cloud, where we have three different sections. We have our apps. We are going to look at those uh, soon. We have resources uh, where we have an e-learning, which we can activate and how to video section and those how to's you already found since otherwise you wouldn't watch that video. A forum where you can ask questions, for example, when you have issues uh, with starting your enterprise trial, the documentation where you can go to as well as the blog. And then in the last section, you have the possibility to change your password or log out from your cloud account. Now in the My App section, we have three different parts. We have the Flowable Design Cloud Edition, we have the Flowable Work Cloud Edition, and you can simply click on, on those and it will open those, or you have the Flowable Work Self-Managed App. I'm going to start actually with that now, which is uh, then triggering uh, in the background an email with a license file, which you can then uh, use to use Flowable locally, and you are here asked to download Flowable. So let's quickly do that. Uh, that is going to download Flowable as we can actually see over here. Uh, that download is done pretty soon. And once we have downloaded it, we can open a, a finder window or your explorer with Windows and just unzip uh, that package. And once you have unzipped it, you have a flowable folder in there. There are a few things which you need to do and I will explain the content uh, of that later on. But first, let me go ahead and just go to that flowable folder. In there we have a bin folder and in this we have a few files. One of them is start work, which is going ahead and starting our work application. So that basically will start flowable. Now in that bin folder, you also have a few other files. You have that startwork.bat file. That is basically for Windows. So when you start on the, uh, with Windows, you just double click on that file and it will start Elasticsearch, um, ActiveMQ, as well as Tomcat with global inside on your uh, machine. That startworksh, which I just used, that is there for uh, Linux and Mac. And then we also have stop script. So when once you would like to stop it, you can use stopwork.bat for Windows or stopwork.sh uh, for Linux and Mac. Now ActiveMQ is here basically as um, uh, our messaging system. So in case you would like to use conversations that is used in the background, then we have an elastic search that's, that's used for searching and indexing. And then we have a Tomcat uh, in which we have the flowable applications. So when you have an issue starting it up, um, Elasticsearch logs 
there are most of the time relevant information. So in case you create a form, post, or reach out to us, uh, just include a zip file of those files in here, as well of the logs inside uh, the Tomcat folder, where we have, for example, catalina.out, uh, which is an important file in there. Now, while that is continuing to start flowable in the background, uh, we can use the time to uh, look at the Flowable Design Cloud Edition, which we have over here. So once I click on that, it is redirecting and automatically signing us into uh, the Flowable Design. In the Flowable Design, we have by default here an empty workspace where we can create our own artifacts. When we click here at the top uh, left on our Flowable uh, design logo, there we have two workspaces. Uh, one is the My Workspace, where we just have been, and then there's a Read Only Workspace Flowable Examples, where you can check out the Approval app and the Loan app. Those two apps are also actually the two apps which are available when you go into the Flowable Work uh, Cloud Edition. So there you can play around with those apps during runtime. And here you see basically then uh, how they build up uh, in here. Let's go back and when we look at um, here my workspace, here we can simply also create a new app. And in the new app, I'm just calling that test app. When you are more interested in all those fields and how they work, check out my video about the Hello World application which is just explaining you how you can create a simple process. I'm just doing it here now without that much explanation that we have something which we can use later on with our uh, local application. Now I created that simple process within an app. So the app is our container in which we have it and that we are going to use later on with our local flowable work installation. So let's look uh, here at the terminal. So there you see just a few dots basically as it is starting up. Once it's starting up, it will tell you that it is going to run at localhost 8080. And in addition to that, normally it also opens a new window uh, with your uh, flow of application. So let's just go to localhost 8080. And um, in here, we have now a landing page where we um, can sign in to upload our license. Then we can explore our apps below. And there we have also links to global design, work, and control. Now, I will just press here the Let's Go button to upload our license. And uh, that here actually requires now a license file. Uh, you should check your email. You should have received an email which looks like this. And attached to that email, we actually have the global license. I'm just going ahead and uh, saving that license file to my download folder. And it explains here also a little bit uh, all the features which you have. And then I can go to the global work application. And this application is now running on our local host. So here you cannot use the cloud account, which we used before. Here the user credentials are really simple. That's the username admin and the password test. Let's press sign in. And once I'm then signed in, I see here at the bottom that I can upload a license file. So let's just click on that. That might be behind me. There's that orange bar basically where you have the option to upload the license file. You can then press the upload button and upload your license file. It's showing you how long your license is valid and all those uh, details around that. We see here a few apps similar to actually what we see uh, inside the cloud trial. But the interesting part is that we have now here also the design workspaces and that is how we connect it with our uh, flowable cloud design. For the communication between the flowable cloud design and our local application, we need to go ahead and um, set up an access token and therefore we need to go 
uh, inside our global design on our user symbol here at the top right, say here token management, and then we would like to create a new access token. We can give that a name, global work trial. Um, normally, I would say, since your trial is valid for 30 days, you can also pick 30 days in here. And then it is generating a token for us. I copy that token to my clipboard and then go back to my global work where I can just paste it and set it as an access token. Now, in here, I see the two different workspaces. So my workspace and global example. When I click on my workspace, I see the test app, which I uh, created before, and I can publish that app from here. So let's just press the publish button. And once I have done that, when I say new work, I can even go ahead and execute my simple test process, which is at the end doing nothing. Now that allows you to now uh, create your own applications, play around with CMMN case management and BPMN business processes. And you should definitely check out our other videos about that topic as well. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.